Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today, we are going to be unboxing, taking a look at, and building the Radok Nasp Fluttercraft, the uh, Wookiee uh, dive bomber, grenade dropper, awesome little thing here. Um, if you guys are new here to the channel, we have the 12 Days of Life Day going on. We're also giving away a lightsaber. Uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Also, be sure to check out the new Luxury Playstyle Nova Collection. You are going to love these. Don't forget to use code VIP to save 15%. They make amazing gifts for your friends. I know holiday time is nearly upon us here. Um, and so, uh, yeah, very cool stuff. All right, so uh, the Rat on Nasp Fluttercraft is a compact scout craft used to patrol the dense Warshire forests of Kashyyyk. Like its namesake, it is fast, deadly, and packs a nasty sting. Whether harassing the enemy with bowcaster fire or expertly lobbed grenades, the Fluttercraft is a formidable foe. This expansion for Star Wars Legion contains one finely sculpted Rat on Nasp Fluttercraft miniature. Enough for one heavy unit. Nope, not heavy. Uh, along with a new unit and upgrade card to field in battle. We've got the pilot, the gunner, the bombardier, all that good stuff. Let's get this sucker open and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, building for this one. I know I think some of you might, may, uh, you know, in case people have a hard time putting this one together. Uh, I'm actually going to build this one out and uh, hopefully it will be helpful. So yeah, there you go. All right, we got, we got the wrapping off. Let's see what all is in this pack. A lot of space in that box. A lot of space. Uh, we've got that stuff. We've got big old base right there. We got this thing. Is there not a stand? Oh, there is a flight. Oh, this is going to be really tall. Well, this is a really tall flight stand for this one. Um, we're going to take a look at all of this plastic. If I can get all of this out here. I don't know why I'm always trying to preserve the bag. It's like, not like I'm going to put sandwiches in here or something later. Uh, we've got that base. Um, real tall uh, flight stand for this one, though. So that's going to that's gonna sit up uh, about as tall as a snow speeder, it looks like. Uh, we do have a lot of a uh, thick little booklet. Wow, we have a whole... We have a whole booklet for this. Wow, I'm surprised we have... Oh, wow, they actually give you... Look at that. They actually give you step-by-step -step instructions. That's super, super cool. So maybe we don't actually have to do the full step-by-step -step build. Um, yeah, they're actually being really helpful with all of this. Look at that. Wow, this is a really big... Okay, so let's see. We've got the first part right there for A, build all that stuff. Then B, build all that stuff. C, then section number two. Oh man, I love it. I was afraid that this was just going to be a whole bunch of like, like here, here's a, uh, here's everything and no instructions. But this, it's really nice to see that they actually gave instructions for this set. Um, I like that. I like that. We also have, uh, since I have this giant poster here, we have a nice little uh, rules reference uh, guide, and this is. Um, in addition to all of the credits and the Fantasy Flight Miniatures Studio referenced here, um, we also have the component listing and our new uh, little rules reference uh, little bits here. Talking about the overrun weapon. And uh, so that's pretty cool. So uh, basically it's its own separate new type of attack. I don't know if we'll get a whole lot more overrun weapons, but it's a cool thing. We've got our... Our, uh, our cardboard right there. We've got some cards. We'll be looking at those here in a minute. Let's take a look at these. Uh, this plastic. So this one. This is uh, this is the, like why did they even put that sprue there? All right, there we go. So we've got all of this. That base. We've got this top sprue here. A lot of stuff there. We've got this. Oh, look at all those grenades. Oh, I love it. I love it. I got all the wookie parts. I love the goggles on this dude. I love them goggles. That's super cool. And we've got more pieces for the fluttercraft right here, the wings. And this is, uh, if you've seen Dune, um, like this kind of reminds me of the thopters they have for Dune as well too. So very cool stuff. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at these cards. All right, so first up it's the, uh, the unit card. Uh, this is a repulsor vehicle. It is a support. Uh, not a heavy, like uh, was indicated on the box in the early descriptions. A lot of people thought this thing was going to end up being 
a heavy, and it is certainly not. It's only a 55 point support, so kind of uh, in the ballpark of an ATRT. Uh, we can take a crew and a comm. Uh, you do have a pistol on this. The, your driver has the uh, pilot's Kashyyyk pistol, so you don't have to put anything else on there if you don't want to. This can just be uh, a nice little fire support capable platform for 55 points. Uh, it does have speeder, so it's going to do those compulsory moves, and that will be uh, especially helpful for everybody who, uh, you know, wants to just get around the battlefield a little bit easier. I, I always really like the speeder keyword because for me, it's, I, I look at it as a, a free action. Um, you're going to have cover two, uh, immune to blast, melee, and range one weapons. So your lightsabers are not going to be able to get this unless, of course, it's a saber throw. Um, and uh, uh, reposition also is, uh, is usually pretty helpful. We're at uh, speed two, uh, offensive surge to hit, defensive surge, and uh, six health and a three resilience. So this thing can actually break down. Um, let's go along with this. We have the Bombardier, who's the main uh, squeeze for this particular uh, vehicle. Uh, he has an overrun attack that he can use twice, and uh, it's a suppressive attack. It's immune to deflect. And uh, it's two red and two white, and uh, you can do that uh, two different times. So if you're, you know, if you're moving through stuff, uh, you certainly get to maximize those dice, which I think can be really nice. It's only 20 points. You also have the NASP Gunner uh, for uh, for 25 points, and uh, and this is a uh, two red and two black fixed rear impact one and pierce one attack, and this is a, this is a pretty solid attack. Yeah, uh, especially if you're looking at doing some fire support with it. You got fire support with Pierce, which can be uh, especially cool, uh, especially on a surge to hit already. And you've got impact one, so it can go into armor as well and all of that cool stuff. However, um, this one can only be done once. And so, but you might have more flexibility with something like this. It can be, you could do a lot of interesting things um, with this. I think uh, I'm going to definitely try out the NASP Bombardier for this build. Um, you know, when I'm actually gluing the minis in, I know some people like to magnetize, I'm not a magnetizer, but, uh, but yeah, so I think, uh, I'm, I'm more interested in the bombardier rather than the gunners, but, uh, but that's pretty cool. Um, additionally, we're going to be getting two copies of the hacked comms unit. I think this is actually a really good upgrade, uh, for this, because especially with that, uh, bombardier, you don't want to be close and support is one of those ones that you don't want to have to pull from the pile to activate. And you definitely want to be able to activate this guy when the time is right um you know and so it's like to maximize those bombardier attacks you want to maybe either go first or go last make sure you can you know move through people when it's your time to move through people and so i think hacked comms unit is going to be a really really good option on this particular uh, pack and we also get comms jammer here uh, which also is actually a pretty nice uh pretty nice option for the radar nasp all right, so assembly is going pretty well here. Uh, the I'm about to uh, step one here, I'm about to put in the driver. I don't think I'm going to glue the driver down though, because I'll probably want to paint him separately. He might be a little more difficult to do once he's on here. Although I'm not sure, I might uh, I might do it. I'll probably maybe I'll put him in there. Um, important thing is the blue pieces on the uh, on the instructions. You want to put those in first. So like under here, I had to put the. Uh, the, the the feet pedals in first and then everything else went on top of them so if you see something in blue make sure you do that part ahead of time and this is where we are at right now so yeah so far it seems pretty easy so the next part is kind of interesting um doing the arms uh for the your your pilot here um i uh, i didn't glue the base in but then uh, i'm kind of glad i didn't glue his butt to the seat yet because he had i had to shift him around a little bit to make sure that the arm and then the uh, the steering yoke kind of uh, connected there to that uh, part of the hull. Um, so, so yeah, and, and I put the, the glue on all at the same time so that everything, everything was a little bit flexible, but this is not the easiest. You can even see through there's a little gap that I gotta kinda, kinda work, it, work it in a little bit more. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that part's a little tricky. All right, so here is the Fluttercraft. Uh, it's all now put together. Um, I, I didn't really have to do every single step of the way uh, for you guys because I think the uh, included instruction manual is very, very sufficient and uh, super helpful. Um, had some issues with the model though. A uh, big part is the base. Um, like this, it didn't want to fit in there. It kept like 
popping out like I'd push it down on the base and then the whole model would just like pop off. So I had I trimmed it down with a knife a little bit and I think it's now gonna work. I decided to go with the, uh, the bombardier because I said I was gonna do that and it looks pretty good. I've got the whole basket in there. Um, we've got our, our pilot there and uh, yeah, no, this is uh, really, really nice looking. Um, it's gonna be a fun one to have on the table. It's pretty big for a support though, right? Real big. Real big for support. It'll move around, be good for bombing run type uh, maps and uh, all kinds of other cool stuff like that. All right, guys, so that is about it for the Radonasp uh, video unboxing kind of assembly and uh, all of that stuff. Um, let me know what you guys think. I did uh, also uh, omit one little thing. I guess there was like a side pistol for the driver's little, uh, like you can put a little pistol on his side. And I just didn't want to do that because I, um, I don't think I'm going to have this guy shooting very much. Uh, so, uh, and, and I also, I just don't like having to paint the little pistols. So I just want this guy to have no pistol on him. So that's just kind of how I did that, did this one. Um, so I'm going to keep that pistol right there. I might glue it on later. I don't know, but I just didn't feel like putting it on because it didn't feel like it wanted to go on very well. Um, also we have a giveaway winner for the 12 days of life day. Today is winner is going to be winning. Well, hold on. Uh, the, uh, arc troopers. Uh, for Star Wars Legion, and uh, of course you'll get that in the mail wherever you live on the planet. You have to be on Earth, um, but this is going to go out to somebody who has been a subscriber and left comments. Of course, that's how you enter to win. Um, and uh, big uh, shout out today. The winner is Cody Heron. Congratulations, uh, Cody. And uh, all you got to do is just shoot me an email, uh, mailcrabbock at gmail.com. Claim your rewards. Remember, patrons are going to win uh, or have a chance uh, at anything that goes unclaimed. So uh, if, you were, if you're a patron, uh, stay tuned. Everybody gets, uh, gets a month to claim all this stuff. And then uh, after the end of uh, January, I'll be throwing all this stuff up on Patreon to, uh, to give my patrons uh, any... Because like a lot of times people just either don't claim stuff or maybe they don't want it or they just don't watch the video or whatever. So... That's kind of how it goes. So, uh, yeah, anything unclaimed, it's going to hop on over to Patreon and uh, and the Wookiees will fly it there. Dude, it's, it's very Dune-like, isn't it? All right, guys, um, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you all so much for watching and uh, big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. And uh, don't ever let Deadpool into your kitchen. And as always, have a great day.